what is important that we Europeans we are not tempted by populisms, intellectual, theoretical exercises, and all this which works together with uh, hostile ideologies and which put at doubt our unity. EPP Group Vice Chair Sandra Calniete on the kind of European history that has tragically repeated itself, the abduction of Europe by radical movements. It is the theme of this EPP Group sponsored event in the European Parliament. Ms. Calniete, a Latvian former foreign minister, knows the issue well from the Soviet era. I lived in that abducted Europe uh, which was captured behind the Iron Curtain. But in a way, that world was rather um, easy to understand because it was black or white. We knew where is freedom and where are those who are against freedom. The speakers told of a very different world now. At this conference, academics, journalists and policymakers are discussing the threats today. They say xenophobia, populism and anti-Westernism are among the tools that some political forces are using with the danger of hijacking history again. Jeffrey Gedman, former head of Radio Free Europe, is a senior fellow at Georgetown University and at the London-based Institute for Strategic Dialogue. He spoke of the global dangers. Liberal world order is fraying. If you look at Europe, Eastern Europe specifically, look at the greater Middle East, look at Southeast Asia, you see that the United States and Europe, in relative terms, have been in a process or a culture of what reticence and retreat, and as they say, vacuums get filled. Russia, ISIS Iran in the Middle East, and China. If we want a world that is conducive to our interests, but also our values, which we so easily become complacent about, we have to rethink where we are and what we have to do, I'm afraid. As a young politician, it is those dangers which policymakers must counter with action, says EPP Group Chairman Manfred Weber. He again called for tougher sanctions against Russia over that country's actions in Ukraine and Syria. How to sell the idea of a united Europe in facing a tough world out there? and persuading voters not to be seduced by what may seem simple solutions the populists are proposing. Now it's up to policymakers to follow through with concrete results ahead of important elections in Europe next year. Find out more about the activities of the largest political force in Parliament by checking eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.